How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech. Today we're looking at the new release of Linux Ubuntu L4T version 3.3.0. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how to install slash upgrade to it. So in this video, I'm going to pretty much go through the entire install process from scratch. You can update your existing build and you can basically just skip to the part of this video where the upgrade actually takes place. I just want to take a moment and give a shout out to everybody that was involved over in the Linux 4 Switch Discord to make this build possible, to keep working on it and updating it and making all these improvements. So it takes a lot of work and it is greatly appreciated, so thank you very much. So before we get into the actual how to do this, make sure you have a Nintendo Switch that is an unpatched version. Make sure you have a way to deliver your payload, whether that's through an RCM loader or the Tegra RCM application that can be used to send the payload from your PC to your Switch through a USB-C cable. So you're going to have two websites you need to go to and get downloads for, first being switchroot.org. You're going to go to switchroot.org, the download button, press that, then you're going to hit the 3.2.0, the regular build, then you're going to also download the 3.3.0 update. Once you do that, you're going to want to head over to the GitHub page, and I will have links in the description for these sites. You're going to get to Hakate. You're going to download the latest version. As of now, it's 5.5.4. You're going to download that zip file. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your SD card is formatted and that it is in FAT32. Then you're going to want to extract everything you downloaded. First thing we're going to use is Hakate. So once that's extracted, you're going to want to open that up. You're going to want to drag the entire contents of the Hecate extracted file to the root of your SD card. Once it's there, we're going to eject the SD card and we're going to head over to our switch. So as I stated, this is the base stuff you will need at minimum. Obviously your SD card, you need a jig and you need a way to send the payload. So let's get going with setting this up. You're going to insert your SD card. Then you're going to slide your jig down your right Joy-Con rail, make sure it's fully inserted. You're going to insert your RCM loader. Then you're going to hold your volume up key, power button, wait for the RCM loader to show signs of life. Then you're going to see the Hakate logo. From here, you're going to want to set your date and time. Once that's set, you can press OK, press OK again. Then you're going to want to go to the Tools section. You're going to want to head over to the Partition SD card, press OK. Then you're going to want to slide the Linux blue line all the way over to you got about 7 gigabytes at your top green line, because that's where your install files and everything you need for Linux will be stored. You're going to hit Next Step, then you're going to hit Start. The process should be really quick. Then you're going to press OK when it is done. You're going to hit close, home, and you're going to reboot. And I'll meet you back over at your computer. Okay, so once you're back on your PC, you're going to insert your SD card. Ignore any of the, you need to format the disk. Just cancel that out. Press OK, cancel. And then you'll have the root of your FAT32 part of the partition. So once you have that, you're going to go to your switch root 3.20 installation. And you are going to drag all that contents over to the root of the SD card. Once that is copied over to your SD card, you're going to eject the SD card and I will once again meet you back on your switch. So you send your payload again and you'll be back to this Hakate screen. You're going to go back to tools, back to partition SD card, hit OK. Then you're going to go right to flash Linux button, press that, should find the installation, push continue. Then you'll wait till this completes. This does take a couple minutes, so I will speed through some of this. Once it's at 100% and complete, you can press the Delete Installation Files button. Once that is done, you can hit the close button, 
head back to home. At this point, you're going to want to remove the jig and RCM loader if it's still connected. You want to reattach your right Joy-Con. Then you're going to go to this bottom left NYX button, and you're going to select Dump Joy-Con Bluetooth. Should give you a success 2 out of 2. You press OK. Head back to Close button, and then you're going to head over to More Configs, and you're going to launch L4T Ubuntu Bionic. This first boot shouldn't take tremendously long. I did edit through this a little bit. You will have a few black screens here and there, and it is perfectly normal. And then eventually you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. You're going to want to select the checkbox and hit continue. And yes, the touch screen is not the greatest. Next, you will have your language. Select that, press continue. For now, you won't need to connect to Wi-Fi, so just leave it, check the way it is, and hit continue. Next, you will select your time zone and press continue. Next, you will enter your username and password, and then continue. Now it will finalize the install, so just sit tight for a couple more minutes. Once that is done and you're greeted here, I would not even log in. I would immediately go and shut down. Once you're shut down, take your SD card out. I'll meet you back on your PC. All right, once your SD card is reinserted into your PC, you're going to want to go to the 3.3 update. You're going to want to extract, ideally using 7-zip. Once that's extracted, you're going to want to drag the contents of that to the root of your SD card. Overwrite anything if it asks. For those of you with an existing Linux install, you're going to do the exact same thing here. You're going to extract the 3.3.0, and then you're going to drag it into the root of your SD card and overwrite whatever it asks to overwrite. Once that's done, you can eject it and head back over to your switch. Once you're back into Hakate, remove your jig, RCM loader, reattach your right Joy-Con, go to NYX options again, dump the Bluetooth data for the Joy-Cons again. Once you get a success message, head back to more configs. Now I forgot to take out one of the INIs and I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. So you're going to want to go to the L4T Ubuntu Bionic. Do not do the other one, do the Bionic. Again later in the video I will show you how to remove that second Ubuntu option from the menu. So the first sign that you were successful is you will see the word updating during boot. Once you reach the login screen, you can go ahead and click your user and then enter your password. Something that I did do off camera after this loaded into the desktop was connect to Wi-Fi and I also attached a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. If you were updating an existing build, then you should be done from here. For those of you that are on a fresh install, now we're going to go ahead and update Linux, and then we're going to look at how to get your CPU overclocked and set all that up. The first thing you're going to want to do is click the icon in the upper left-hand corner, pull up a search bar. From there, you type in Terminal, select the Terminal app. Next thing you want to do is just update your Linux build, so you're going to type in the following command. It will also ask you for your password, so you want to go ahead and enter that and push enter. Once that is complete, you're going to want to enter now this command.
you will receive a yes or no prompt. Press Y and enter for it to continue. This process does take quite a bit, so I am speeding through it. Once it is done, I highly recommend that you reboot the system. Once your system is rebooted, you're going to want to open up Terminal again. To begin the process of being able to overclock your switch on Ubuntu, you need to install the following program, so enter the following command. You will also be given a yes or no prompt here, enter Y, press enter. Once this is done, you're going to want to reboot your switch. While the switch is powered down, I just wanted to really quick show you how to get rid of that one extra option of Ubuntu in Hakate. So on your SD card, you go to the bootloader folder, you go to the INI folder, and in there you'll see the two options that are there. You're going to want to remove the non-bionic version. Just delete it. After that, you can eject your SD card, boot back up, and you'll notice you just have the one option. Once you boot back into Hakate, you will notice that you have just the one Ubuntu bionic option. Once you boot it back up, you want to head back into Terminal and you want to enter the following command. Then you'll enter your password, press Enter. You'll know it successfully ran if you just see a number one by itself. Now enter the following command. After pressing Enter, you should get 2091000. Now to verify that these commands work, go to your CPU frequency selector. It will now allow you to select the 2.09 gigahertz. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you want to install Dolphin, I do have a video on how to build Dolphin, although it is starting to become outdated now, so I will be doing an update video on that, but you still will be able to do the build with it, but there is new scripts that you can run while doing the install to give you better performance. I want to do an update video on that, so stay tuned for that. If you were someone who updated your existing install, you should have everything already. This 3.3.0 update is supposed to have a big boost in performance across the board, uh, the OS itself and in gaming and a whole laundry list of other things that have just been upgraded, updated, enhanced. If you want a full change log, head over to the GBA Tempt website. I'll also link that and it lists the entire change log. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really hope this video was informative. And if it was, please hit that like and subscribe button for me if you have not already. Thanks again for watching. I hope everybody has a great day.